Today, I'd like to show you the new Explore tool that's in Google Slides, Google Docs, and also in Google Sheets. I'm going to show it in both Google Slides and Google Sheets. I've created a presentation here that's pretty boring. It's just got some titles and things like that. Um, we used to have under Tools, there was a research tool. You could use that to search and to add things. But that has now been replaced by the Explore tool. So in the bottom right-hand corner, you can go down, click the Explore tool. Explore tool. It's going to open up and give me some options for my layouts. I'm actually not going to do the layouts first because it will automatically do some layouts for me. I'm going to do a search um, just for US presidents. It gives me web options. It gives me image options. And then it searches my own drive. I just want some pictures. So I'm going to go down and find a picture, pull it on here. One of the drawbacks to it, um, it doesn't really format the pictures very well to throw them on the slide. It just puts them on there. One of the good things about it is that it does give me uh, a citation from where I got that image. Um, and the images are supposedly all uh, common media that you can use, that students could use in presentations. Um, but now that I put an image on there, if I go back to my, my layouts, it gives me layouts based off of that picture. Um, so I think this is a really neat way for students to put their information all on the slide first, then go in and kind of grab the pictures and things like that so that they can then automatically uh, create some, some slides that look good and that you can read all the text on. So um, a couple of different options here that it gives me. I'm just going to grab one of those and I'm going to take a look at it. I like how it looks, so I'm going to go into my next slide. Um, here I have a slide about George Washington. I want to put some text and also some images in there with that one. So I'm going to go in. I would search for George Washington. On the web here, it gives me some information. Um, so I'm just going to grab that information, copy it, paste it in. First, I would make sure that it's information that is good and things like that. But just for this demo, we're going to do this kind of quickly. I'm going to grab a couple of pictures, and I'm just going to toss them on the slide. There's one. Here's another one, and we'll go with the dollar bill there so your students will all know what that is if you're in the United States. And then again, I'm going to go back um, to build my slides, and it looks like it's not giving me any options this time. So uh, there we go. So it gives me a few different options. Um, it lays them out for me. It changes the text size for me. Um, something that it does do is it crops the pictures so I can see these don't really fit. If I double click on them, then I can go in and manually adjust that crop and make it fit their faces on there without cutting them off as much. Um, but it really is a good way to make the slides look better. It gives you that citation for the pictures. Um, and it can keep students in one tab for the most part. Uh, in Google Docs, it is also in there. It doesn't keep you in one tab as much, but it is, again, replaced that uh, the research tool under tools, so but it does offer some more citation tools. So if I do my George Washington search again, if I scroll down here to my web results, I have these three little menu buttons. I can change my citation format. Um, you can change it to MLA, you can change it to APA, you can change it to Chicago style. I have it on MLA. Now I can't really easily just drag stuff over like you used to be able to. So I'm going to go to the actual website, which probably isn't necessarily a bad thing. Go there and uh, just look at the validity of that website. I'm going to find the information that I want. And I'm going to drag and drop it into my document. But here I haven't cited it at all. But I know that I got it from this website. So if I click my site as a footnote there, it gives me my citation. I scroll down. It gives me my footnote citation. I can still also search for images. Um, grab one that I like and wrap my text around it, make it smaller, and put it onto my slide. So again, this isn't really a presentation tool, so it doesn't give me as many options um, as it does in slides over here to arrange it and things like that. But this is this new Explore tool is a really good way to keep students on one one site while they're working. Um, and to allow them to cite where they got their information from and to really make those slides look nice.